Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. And, um, yeah, um, first time passing through, you can subscribe, you can like, you can share, you can um, read the comments, you can make a comment. And for my existing subscribers, thank you for your support. Um, well, today I, I was talk well, this morning I was talking to a friend of mine and um, she was telling me, well, this, the title of this video is, do you feel that your doctor can't diagnose your symptoms or can't tell you what's wrong with you? You go to a doctor and, you know, you're saying, I've got a pain here, I've got a pain in my shoulder, oh, I've got a pain on my left side or whatever, and they just kind of do the routine stuff. They give you some cocodamol or they give you, tell you to take paracetamol or whatever, or they give you antibiotics and you they send you on your way and two or three weeks later, you're still feeling like crap. Well, I have a friend this morning and she called me and she said, I said, how are you? And she said, oh, I'm really feeling bad. She said, I've got a pain in the bottom of lower part of my back. It keeps moving to my front. And you know, I've got a headache and I've got temperature and I've got this and I've got that. And I said to her, so what did the doctor say? So she goes, oh, the doctor told me to stand up, put my arms out, turn my head from side to side, touch my toes, that kind of stuff, routine stuff. So she said, but I've still got the pain and I'm a bit worried. So I said to her, what kind of pain is it? And she goes, oh, well, it's just a pain, you know, it's just a pain I've got, it's in my side. And she went on about it being in the lower back and it moving around to her front. But I said, you know, it's no point going to a doctor and telling him you have a pain. A pain are a dime a dozen. He hears that word a hundred times a day because that is what he's there for, to deal with symptoms of pain. So when you go to a GP, it's important that you actually tell him what the pain feels like. It's no point saying, I've got a pain. What you need to say is, try to describe the pain. Does it feel like somebody's just wrenched your guts out of your stomach? Does it feel as though you've been stabbed several times? Does it feel as though your leg has been yanked off? Does it feel as though somebody's pulling the nerves out of your body? You have to be able to describe the pain. Sometimes they'll say to you, what does that pain feel like from one to 10? She told me it felt like eight, which means that is very painful. But yet she found it difficult to describe what that pain felt like. When I said to her, can you explain to me what it feels like? Because that is what you need to tell your GP. Otherwise, he's not going to know what to do with you. Because a pain can be anything. And providing you're walking up and down and you can interact with him and you've, you, you know, you're living your normal life, he's not going to be able to diagnose. So she said to me, it felt like after you'd had an operation and you're waiting for the wounds to heal. Now, that was very descriptive. I said to her, you go to your GP and explain that to him. Describe your pain to him in those exact words and see what he comes back with. Well, she hasn't, this was only this morning, so I don't know what the outcome is, but I will feed back on you. But this video is really just to say to, to say to you guys, when you go to a GP, you know, yes, they are professionals. Yes, they've done their exams, but they do just like what we do. If I have a headache or if I have a stomach ache or if I don't feel well, I Google it and find out what's probably wrong with me. Sometimes the symptoms are worse than what I think. The other day I thought I was bloody dying of something. <laughs> I always kind of exaggerate my symptoms. And if I feel as though something's wrong with me, I will exaggerate my symptoms. But uh, before I go to the GP, because I can't really explain how I feel. So I think to myself, well, if I exaggerate them, at least I'll have a good going over. They'll make sure that I'm okay and I'll be released and I'll have that peace of mind. But you do need to be able to describe your symptoms. And, you know, the, the doctors, you notice that they, you'll notice that they'll ask you what it feels like or, you know, 
and then they'll go on their computer and then they'll look up all these things and then they'll make sure it doesn't contra in it's not a contraindication to whatever you're taking and then they'll give you some kind of painkiller because basically that's what they do they give you something just to disguise the symptoms they don't do it intentionally but it's because they do not know what is wrong with you and you haven't described it in a way that they can understand so with any symptom you have try to visualize it try to describe it try it try to actually create a picture of something associate it with something that you can say okay if you've ever had your finger cut you know what that feels like it's like a sharp quick um, pain but if you've had your if you've had appendicitis or if you've had tonsillitis or if you've had a baby or you know you'll know what those pains feel like if you've been stabbed if you've you know if you've had been in a car accident you know what that feels like you know what the recovery process feels like and just try to use your imagination to describe the exact pain and in that way it's more than likely that your GP will be able to give you a good and accurate diagnosis but don't just go into the GP and say I've got a pain and it's on a scale of 1 to 10. You need to describe what that pain feels like and he'll be able to associate that with something he's been taught or with something else, something he's been researching. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.